Now I'd like to show you how you can play MIDI tracks with a VSTi plug-in instrument and also install more VSTi. I'll begin by placing a MIDI file. I have the Lucian Linus theme here. And I do want to expand to individual tracks. This is right hand of the piano, left hand of the piano, bass, and percussion. Let's take a look at where the VSTi instruments are located. Find plugins and then VST. And you want to enter the path to the location of your VST files. I'm using Reaper backslash VSTi. And at the moment I have a single VSTi instrument. Note the DLL extension for that. I hit rescan to make sure Reaper has been able to find all of the plugins. And I'll hit FX button, select VSTi specifically. And there's several that are built in for Reaper. And this would be the one I'm looking for, string thing. All right, let's get this MIDI track going here. Uh, I should be hearing something and I'm not hearing anything. And this, this is a somewhat common occurrence and I'd like to show you what's up with that. Let's take a look at source properties. What I want to do is make sure that I'm sending all of the MIDI information on channel one. This particular plugin only responds to information on channel one. All right. Let's take a look at what the original channel number is, just for interest's sake here. Taking a look at note properties, it says that the MIDI file had encoded these on channel two. So as I just showed you, it's pretty easy to resend that to a different channel. Now let's take a look at the other track. This one is already on channel one. Let me delete this plugin from the left hand and instead use it on the right hand. And we'll go with that nice banjo sound. Now watch carefully. Okay, there's banjo. Okay, stop. Now watch this again. Now the trouble is, is that it's automatically sending us to a different preset each time we play. And the problem is right here. If you look at the detail view of the events, we see this particular MIDI file has a program change event shortly at the, after the beginning of the track. I'm, I selected it and hit delete. Watch carefully. All right, that's good. So without the program change, then the VSTi stays wherever we left it previously. Incidentally, this is the web page where I got the string thing plug in. I'm interested in getting this tall bass line plug in for the bass. Save that link. These are normally stored in a zip file. I want to place it in that location for my VSTi plugins. So we'll unzip that, creating a new folder. And let's see how that looks in the file system. There's my new folder, 
and there's the new plugin. All right, I'll press the FX button, select VSTIs, and I don't see the baseline instrument. Oh, that's right. If you come back here for preferences, always remember you need to rescan. So I'll press that button right now. All right, let's give this another try. All right, now we can see it just fine. Go ahead and select that one. All right, let's take a listen to this one. All right, that's kind of harsh. Uh, let's see. I know from previous experience that this default way down at the bottom is not a good one. Let's go with envelope sub bass. Oh, this has the same problem that the string thing did. Let me go ahead and track down that program change and hit delete. All right, hopefully you get a better idea now of how you can insert a MIDI file and play it with some VSTI instruments.